good afternoon, evening, or morning, everybody. It is me, your boy, TPT, coming at you not live and not from Twitch TV. So, today's video is going to be a slightly different than usual. It's um, somewhat requested, somewhat I wanted to do it anyway. Uh, and this is going to be regarding the achievement academical which is it's a very hard achievement um well at least that's what the wiki listed as and i do think it is a very hard achievement it's definitely not easy um which is as athens own 50 universities now building the actual universities obviously isn't the hard part the hard part is surviving long enough for it which as you can see i have successfully done by hiding over in america so um, obviously, you know, you start off uh, in uh, a one province minor under the Byzantines. You know, see how the tables have turned here, by the way. Vassal of Athens, damn fucking straight. <laughs> um, there's a one province minor in Athens, which, as you will also notice, isn't even owned by me anymore. So, how I basically did this was, honestly, it was pretty simple. Um at least on paper. Actually, managing to do it is a very different story, um, but it's quite simple on paper, and what I did, I, first of all, I maxed out my force limit, um, and then I maxed out my relations with the Ottomans as much as I could, and from that point, I was actually able to get the Ottomans to support my independence, which is really nice. Um, because obviously, when someone supports your independence, they also become an ally of yours too. So, it's very handy. Anyway, obviously once I got them to support my independence, I simply declared the war. Um, ran my troops over here so that they didn't die straight away. Um, or obviously after occupying all of the Greek peninsula, first of all, that I could. Um... And then I just let the Ottomans do most of the heavy lifting. They also, Serbia was also involved, but obviously they were no match for the Turks. So I gave them Constantinople, and I took these three provinces for myself. So obviously from that point, I've got four provinces. I'm in quite a safe position at the moment. I've got big boy Ottomans looking over my shoulders, and things are going pretty well. I also ended up annexing Epirus quite easily. Um, and I got a couple of provinces, um, from Venice as well, when the Ottomans declared on them. I think I got two, I believe I got Nassus and Negroponte, or Crete, was, well, some of them. Anyway, um, so what happened following that point is, eventually I got declared on by Venice, and the Ottomans unfortunately broke my alliance. Um, because they were in debt, and they don't have any clue how to not be in debt, because Paradox is fucking garbage at making intelligent AI, and in fact does it intentionally, in case you are wondering, which I personally despise. Um, so, anyway, we obviously, you know, achieved that, and uh, I, I did manage to hold them off for long enough to piece out for some money and war reps, basically by essentially waiting for them, me to land, uh, like for them to try and land on me, before beating them back with a stack and some mercs. So up to that point, I reached around technology nine. Um, with that, I completed successfully completed the maritime allies, uh, which essentially it requires you to be not be a subject nation. Um, Malta is owned. Uh, well, it says Malta is owned by Athens, but the actual requirement at the time was that you are allied to the owner of Malta and you had over 150 relations with them, in which point I completed the mission and they actually give you Malta. Now, this is very important that you are able to grab Malta as it makes it a lot faster because... Okay, so I actually took economic ideas first because I wasn't expanding much, so I just, you know, did some deving and stuff, kept myself, you know, afloat, made enough money so that I could hire advisors and that. Speaking of which, these guys are way too low. 
I make a lot of money now, thanks to all that beautiful gold. Look at that right there. 23 bucks from gold. A whole bunch from other stuff as well. Anyway, um, so by that point, um, I by Tech 9, so Technology 9 is the important one. The other important one is Tech 11. So because I secured Malta um, with Tech 9 and the third idea in exploration, that being overseas exploration, without the requirement of a um, the Colonial Range Advisor, I was able to start my first colony in Barbados. And then obviously I continued to colonize as well. Now, this this is this is where my run deviated a bit from my plans, which was Venice declaring war on me a second time. Because unfortunately I didn't have the backing of the Ottomans this time. I only had Caraman with me. Um, because oh well prior to that point, um after I begin colonizing, I did also lose Malta to the Tunisians, which I'm actually allied to now, by the way, but they declared on me, they took Malta, um, but Aragon actually later on gave it back to me in a peace deal um, for a war that I wasn't actually even in, so I wasn't complaining about that. Um, but again, by that point, I'd already got my first colony, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, I was actually running two colonies, I believe, um, as soon as at Tech 9. Um, despite being a real painy pincher, because you want to be getting those colonies done as fast as possible, because they will pay for themselves very quickly, as you can see here. You know, I've done a little bit of deving here, but, you know, these colonies are making, like, one and a half to three ducats each. So, they, they do pay for themselves quite fast. So, that's why you want to be getting them done as soon as possible, because, again, like, they, they, they're not wasted investments. They're very important, not just for the achievement run, but also for your economy. They directly assist with it. Um, anyway, after I'd, I'd finished colonizing three provinces, I was currently colonizing Martinica, I believe. Um, oh, actually, I know. I can check here. Can I? No, it doesn't actually tell me when I... Uh, it doesn't tell me when I'm in my capital here, because that was at the end of the peace deal. But essentially, I was forced, because I wasn't going to win the war, they ended up me significantly... So, I originally was planning on moving my capital to the New World anyway, that was my, the original strand. However, instead, I was forced to give up my capital, which in turn ended up moving my capital to the New World anyway. So, at least I saved the administrative points on it, even if I lost a lot of development um, originally. So, it was a very big hit, I'll be honest. Um, I didn't really want to lose that land as quickly as I did. I'd rather have used it to fund my colonization for a bit longer. But instead, I basically just sacked my army, uh, my army maintenance. Um, I was running the uh, the native coexistence policy because I couldn't really afford to station troops over here or anything. I, I had them running zero maintenance, etc. Um, and they needed to stay at home in case anyone did declare on me. But it turns out that was pointless anyway. Um, so anyway, um, obviously, I, I managed to keep about three provinces. Uh, I kept these two. And this one, this one was eventually actually given back to me by Austria in the war with the Ottomans. Um, or maybe it was the Commonwealth, actually. The Commonwealth has been beating down... Um, they've been beating down the Ottomans quite a bit, as you can as you can probably guess by the fact that they actually own Constantinople and that. Um, but yeah, so essentially I exodusted to the New World. Um, and I started colonizing as much as I could. Um, I actually had the Caribbeus uh, colonized quite a lot too. I took the most of that off them in one war, but I actually did that later on, um, because I act my first move of aggressive, you know, of aggression in the New World was actually I. So I temporarily colonized this province here. Um, I'd already been fabricating on Shortly, which is the native which was here at the time. I'd already been fabricating on them till I had the twenty. Um, the 20 spy network because I was already running two colonies um, and I only had one colony at the time so keep that in mind I was always spending like six ducats a month on colonies I couldn't really afford too much at that point um, I was losing so I temporarily colonized here got the claim put my troops in the province and then uncolonized the province because again I couldn't afford it and then I begun obviously just eating up the rest of America um this was the s so I restarted a couple times at the start. Um, I think I restarted. This is my so it's my I sorry I restarted once, um, 
because I had some problems in early on in the first one regarding diplomacy. It wasn't actually the Ottomans, um, it was something else. Um, yeah, and also, so in this in this game, I've been decked on by, if you'd like a list, I've been decked on by the Ottomans, Venice, Spain, France, England, uh, Portugal, Venice again, <laughs> uh, Tunis, uh, I think I said England already, but Great Britain, uh, the Mamluks, and just a couple others as well, you know, so just lots, lots and lots of fun. Um, it's been, it was a very hard achievement, but once once I got over here, it did get a little bit easier. But even even after you get to the new world, it is still very difficult because the colonizers will declare on you. Um, you know, again, I had both Casti I had Castile, France, uh, Portugal, and Spain declare on me once I was over here. So it wasn't you know it was by no means an easy grind. It only really became easy once I'd already taken a significant chunk of Mexico and I was able to actually begin affording to keep a significant army maintained. I still have a very small army, in fact, um, because this was very recent. Um, I've been running this same stack for a while. I didn't really bother. I um, I disbanded a whole bunch of troops. Um, I think I disbanded like 50,000. Like I had to spend like half my army because I wanted money faster. So that I could obviously complete the uh, the the achievement faster um, for universities, because you know they were costing like well it was like two fifty or something, but I got a fucking obsessive perfectionist, of course. Um, and so it took me so yeah, so I disbanded a bunch of my army because I didn't really need to worry about it at this point. You know, I'm in a very safe position. No one can really contest me. No one wants to contest me. I've uh, again like I've got you know, quite decent allies, you know, they have decent troops, so they're a good deterrent, and also, you know, I was, um, you know, my army is still up here, it's, you know, like, it was up here earlier, but it's still here, you know, and, and by that point, no one really wanted to take a piece out of me, and so I just disbanded it and got money faster, but anyway, so this is basically how I did it, um, I, essentially, it was an exodus to the new world, and then just, grind, grind, grind. I lost about two hours of progress at one point when England decked on me. I lost about two hours of, of, um, of, like, grinding on it. Like, 50 years or something. Um, because I had to go back to an old save that I had. Um, I didn't really save scum too, too much. Um, I did it a couple times. I think I did it about three times. One was the war against Portugal. Um, one was... Venice, I think, and then one was England declaring on me, which is obviously the one that I had to, um, I didn't, I didn't save in that one, so I had to go back to a previous one, like an old, old one, um, which again was like t two hours ago, so I lost quite a lot of progress on it, which was very tragic, but anyway, um, so yeah, this is, I would honestly recommend this to everybody, um, it's, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a very difficult, but it's probably the easiest possible way to do it. Don't go exploit first, go exploit second, because you'll only be able to reach it either tech 9 or tech 11. Um, I didn't get a, um, a range guy because I got Malta. However, I believe Malta, sh um, you should be able to compensate for not having Malta by getting the range guy with tech 9 and the, uh, calling a range, or alternatively, you can just wait for tech 11 with the, um, with the, the third idea, and that should also be enough to reach it as well. Um, but obviously that takes longer, and it's, it's, you know, it's just not as efficient. So I just try to do it as efficiently as possible. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. I've been me. Um, I did stream some of this over on my Twitch channel. You can check it out. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys uh, in my Discord, in my stream, or in the YouTube comments section down below. Obviously, I'll link to both of the two down below. Anyway, I'll catch you all. I know. I know. I said it too many times. Peace.